sometimes I might have documents for my students and I ask them to click on a link, for example, this research link here, and it goes to a doc where they're going to um, collect all of their research kind of as their rough draft before they create their final project. And I don't want to give them the share link um, and, or a view only link and have to have them go to file and then make a copy. I want to make it a little bit easier for them. And there's two ways that you can do that. One is to force students to make a copy and one is to give them a template that they could preview. So I'm going to show you both different methods. Both methods start with the same first step. What you need to do, whatever your template document is, and it could be a Google Doc, it could be slides, it could be a spreadsheet, it could be a drawing. What you need to do is go to share and you need to make sure that you've shared it so anyone with the link can view. You don't want it to be edit, you just want it to be view. So anyone with the link can view. I'm gonna copy that link. And what we need to do with this link for either method is we're gonna edit that link. So I'm just gonna paste them here so you can see them. Um, I'm gonna make them just a tiny bit smaller so that it's a little bit easier to see. All right, so for the URL, what you're gonna look for is the very last forward slash. And in this case, it is this one right here. So it's forward slash and then it says edit and sharing. Sometimes, depending on where you get that link from, it might have a little bit of different things after that last forward slash, but I highlighted it here, or I made it red so it's easy to see. What I'm gonna do, if I want to force my students to make a copy of the doc, I'm gonna delete everything after that last forward slash, and I'm gonna change it to copy. For the template preview method, you're gonna find that last forward slash, delete everything after it, and type in template forward slash preview. So I'm gonna show you what these both look like. I'm gonna copy this link, and this is what I would share with my students. And I'm pasting it into a new tab. And what it does is it gives us just a blank screen. It tells us the name of the document, Climate Change Project Research, and students have to click make a copy. When they do that, it's gonna make a copy of the document and the title of the document that lives in their drive is gonna be copy of climate change project research. The other method is one that I just have been recently using. I've been using the, the copy method, the first one for years, but this um, bottom one, this template preview, this is kind of my new favorite. So this link, when I go to open it, it actually gives me a preview of the document. And I really like that because I can see what it is before I make a copy of it. So here to use this one, you would click use template. And it's gonna basically make a copy of this template in the, your Google Drive or the student's Google Drive, whoever makes uses this template. But it's not going to change the name. It's not going to say copy of climate change project research. It's just going to be climate change project research. So those are two ways that you can basically force your students to make a copy. One of them gives you this screen here, copy document. And then the preview one gives you the template, which is nice because you can view it. If it's Google Slides, you can see all the slides ahead of time. And then ultimately students will get a copy of that project.